Yo, what's up guys, it's Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a witch's house. This is great for, uh, obviously, Halloween. This is the uh, second build out of three of my Halloween, uh, Halloween playlist. I might even do a fourth and a fifth, I'm not sure yet. I've got some other builds in the pipeline. To do this, place down stone foundations, four by four. place two single stone door frames at the front. Next surround it all with single stone walls. Some YouTubers uh, tutorials are all laid out with uh, overlays and numbers and materials. Uh, when you're building with me you know uh, I make up as I go along so you're here with me we're figuring it out together more of a personal experience so I hope you guys enjoy that style. Next place wooden foundations all the way around leaving a two foundation gap on the right hand side. Take your single wood walls, flip them. Place them down here all the way around. Next, take a single wooden door frame, flip it, and place it above each stone door frame. Place down two ceilings behind each door frame. Take your greenhouse wall, place it at this snap point, wait, and then flip it. Oh, I know what I've done wrong here. Yeah, we need to put the... Um, like I said, on my tutorials, we'll figure this out together. Let's just do walls here for now and place scenes above these walls. Flipped door frame on each side. Greenhouse at this snap point, then flip it. Then remove each ceiling. Flipped wooden walls all the way around. I have a few more tutorials coming up, guys. I have another Halloween one uh, ready to upload. Place a, a wooden foundation on each corner. A stone pillar to each foundation snap point on each corner. Select your wooden pillars. Place them too high on top of each stone pillar. Take your ceilings. Now it's important to make sure these lumbars are, are, are facing the right way. So follow that pattern. So if, if your lumbar pattern is, is horizontal, make sure it's horizontal all the way around. You'll get a slight lip between the ceiling and the walls. This is what we're looking for. Take your large wooden walls and place them on the lip of the wall, not to the ceiling snap point. I have another video coming up, uh, like I said, the Halloween one, another Halloween one. I have a diving bell video coming up. I have a special one, which I'm not going to announce just yet. And I also have a, a steampunk style platform base coming up too. So if you don't want to miss those, ding that bell. 
and obviously if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button below. Take your walls, flip them on the edge of the ceilings. When I build something I have a general idea of what I want to do but I suppose my how-to videos are more um, of a, a walkthrough guide than an actual tutorial because I like to think it over when I'm building and have you know have fun with it. Take two walls, place them on the edge of the front. Actually, let's place them there. So two at the front. Make sure you get the right snap point. Place a fence foundation in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. You don't actually need the middle one, but. I'm going to use the middle one this time, but if you do, if you want to place one on the right and left, that's fine. You don't actually need the middle one. Continue the step all the way around on each side. My first build in the Halloween series was the Creepy Teepee. If you've not seen that one yet, I'll link that in the description below. Take your wooden wall and place it on the central snap point. Free high. And take it this wall and flip it on the right snap point. Take this wall and place it on the left snap point and flip it. So central free up, right, left, flip, free up. Let's do this again. Snap points can be a bit tricky around here. Free high, wall flip. Wall flip. This build is actually part of my Halloween event. It's uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna include something at the end of this video of my Halloween event, which I think you'll, you'll think you'll find is pretty cool. All the builds I do are from the Wooden Ark cluster, and this is the Wooden Ark uh, annual Halloween event. So I'll include that little game that I am uh, I'm making with this house at the end. So be sure to stick around for that. Okay, take your wooden ramp on the, on the left snap point, place your ramps down, free down. Again, free down. Make sure you're getting these right snap points and you're not getting the middle one. Continue this on all four sides. Yeah, I've got some game changing videos coming up guys. If you guys want to see something um, specific, let me know in the comment section. You know, I'm always uh, taking requests, always looking for fun things to build. Take your left and right wooden wall and destroy each wooden wall. So place it and flip it and it will destroy the wooden wall. Place it, flip it. Place it, flip it. can do this on all four corners. Take your wooden window frame, flip it, continue this on all four sides.
Take your left and right slope walls. Place them flipped on all four sides. I'm not going to bother too much with the inside decoration today. Take your water walls, two single water door frames. I forgot to flip these ones. The reason I flipped them out is because I like the back side of the wood. I think it looks more natural. I think it looks way better. Place two ceilings under the door frame. Take your greenhouse walls, place them, flip them, place them, flip them, and remove the two wooden ceilings. That one's slightly off. Let me try this again. Perfect door. Flip your walls. Place them in all four corners. Flip some window frames on all four sides, or all, th all three remaining sides. Take two ceilings, place them above each um, single door frame window. Let me just think about this a second. I think these snap points might be off. Yep. See, with this build, when you're doing um, multiple ceilings like that, you need to make sure that you're following the pattern of the wood and that you're hitting the right snap point because it will show really bad if you're not hitting the right snap point. Let me show you the correct way of doing this. So choose a side, place down two walls. Be very careful when you place these down that like you're getting the right snap point. See, that's right, see. Take your wooden foundation, place one in the middle, one on the right, one on the left. Follow this pattern all the way down. This can be quite tricky. In truth, you don't need the middle in the middle one. Um, I'm a creature of habit and I'm used to building Viking roofs, so that's why I use the middle one, so I can add the sloped roof part at the end. You could also use a different fence foundation if you want it to be a bit clearer. Wood on wood is a bit hard to see. Place a single wall down on the middle fence foundation. One on the other side and flip it. This side and flip it. Flip it. That's wrong. Is that wrong? That's right. Place two ceilings on both sides. Again, be careful of these snap points. Place down a fence foundation in the middle, one on the right, one on the left. In hindsight, maybe I should use a different fence foundation so I could see it clearer. So let's, let's go ahead and do that.
This is gonna be the worst. This is, this is gonna be the worst part of the build because um, these fancy roofs can be a bit can be a bit fiddly, man. Okay, so you're probably gonna guess what's gonna happen now. Middle, then flip, then flip. And flip. Obviously, that's wrong. Like I say, I could have recorded this and I could have made it right first time without me showing you uh, me picking up things and retrying. But I wanted to be a real experience. I wanted to be me and you building together, figuring this out together, um, and showing you, you know, some of the things that not to, what not to do, as well as what to do. You know, because. Sometimes some of these videos by YouTubers are so pre and pristine that you don't really get the, the true experience of how it is, you know, I mean Some things, things like this can be fiddly as fuck, you know, so let's show it <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're placing a, a, a wall in the wall on the central fence foundation One on the left, one on the right and flipping them. It's gonna take a bit of trial and error for me to get these right because there's so many snap points. And as I said, in truth, you only really need the left and the right one. So if you're following this video and you're pausing it and unpausing it, you can just use the left and right uh, fence foundation. You don't need a middle one. My next video is going to be uh, the gallows, how to build a gallows, perfect for Halloween decoration. If you pair it with, with this witch build and you pair it with my creepy TP build, you'll have a pretty cool uh, little Halloween village going down, especially if you're running an event or hosting an event on your server, or if you're pumped for Fear Evolved, which I am. I just hope they bring something cool out this year, like last year when they, did, when they brought the ghost stuff out, that was pretty dope. I really feel like Ark and Wildcard don't really do too much for these events. They do pretty much the same sort of stuff right each year. I'm hoping something cool comes out, cool, something cool happens. I mean, we've got the snails and drakes breeding coming soon. That's pretty cool. I did a video the other day for um, an Achatina breeding pen. If you haven't seen that, then check that out. Kind of a weird one, right? I thought it would be, I heard it's going to be a Basilisk and uh, Drake's. And when I woke up and he said, uh, Agitina and Drake, I was like, shit, you, you, you know, kind of like crazy, man. I, I kind of dig it, though. I kind of like the snails. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have just, just, just done left and right. But we're down the rabbit hole now, so fuck it. Just want to say a big thank you to you guys as well for the love and support my channel's been getting recently. I mean, it's an old channel with the, in the sense that I created it a long time ago, but it's a new channel in the sense that I've only just started uploading videos to it. I've only really been going serious at it for a couple of months and it's already getting a good traction and lots of love and support and I really appreciate that and I know, I know a lot of YouTubers say that I'm not saying they don't mean it but I'm just saying that I definitely mean it you know it really means the world to me take your wooden ramps place them free down on all four sides like this Make sure you get the right snap point. You want the furthest out snap point. Free down. Free down. See that snap point there? That's on the lip of the ceiling. We don't want that. Free down.
furthest out snap point. So when this is done, we're going to be left with like a, a crissy crossy sort of style, uh, valid apex sort of style roof. I mean, look at the lengths you have to go to to get a roof like this on steam you could just place down a valley you know it's kind of crazy maybe with the build dlc we might see some better roofing options steams uh, some like valleys and corners and stuff that'd be awesome to be honest i'll be happy with just inverted slope to uh, left and right walls A lot of snap points on this. You just need to make sure you're getting the outer snap point on each wall. Not the, not the middle one and not the furthest away one. And make sure that this third ramp isn't, isn't going on the lip of the ceiling, it's actually attached to the ramp. So there you go, we have a, a, a four cornered valley roof now. I mean that's an awesome effect right? I wanted that sort of like lipped, like lipped, um, raised sort of like uh, witch house sort of effect, you know what I mean? Like where it's raised out and it's crickety, like sort of roof. Place down a couple of uh, wooden vents, wooden railings on all four sides. Place a single door in both door frames. Couple more fence, couple more uh, wooden foundations, and let's snap a stair to it to create our little entranceway. Snap a fence foundation to each corner on each side of each wooden fence foundation. Take a stone pillar, snap it to the end of each fence foundation All the way around. In fact, let's let's bring it up a little bit, and we'll add a um, we'll add another fence foundation here, and make it look like supports. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go free high here. Free high here. Free high here. And we'll create that sort of like lodge effect like it's been supported. I like I like that. That's what I'm saying about my sort of style of tutorial guys. We're working it out, we're figuring it out, we're here today, we're here together. Place readings all the way around. You, I mean, pillars and ratings are always good. If you want to spruce up your build a bit, add pillars and ratings. I add pillars and ratings wherever I can. So I have to take shape now. Let me remove these. I had an afterthought. And replace these with stone and we'll go four four by three T 
take your single stone door frame, place it here. Take your single stone walls, place them all the way around. Take a single stone door frame and place it on the back side. Flip your single wooden walls all the way around. Take a single door, place it in the door frame on both sides. Place wooden walls on each corner, leaving a two wall gap. A one more gap at the back. Take your single door frames, place them in each gap. Place a ceiling under each door frame. Take your greenhouse wall, place it down, flip it, down, flip it, down, flip it, and down, flip it. And then remove each ceiling. I'm just thinking about what's best next. Take your wooden ceilings, place them down. Checking everything's good. Take your greenhouse windows and place them in all the window frame gaps on all four sides. I'm going to make us a little um, cauldron now. So let's take Stiggy here and clear the area a little bit. And if you guys would rather prefer um, tutorials where it's just text and uh, clear cut instructions, then I can do that too. But you know, kind of like this style where we're playing, to, we're working out together. Let me know. So let's go ahead and make this cauldron. So take some triangle foundations. This is just to get it level and make a hexagon. So I'm going to remove these triangle foundations. It's just so it's level with the build, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a circle. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you now. Place two triangle ceilings, one square ceiling, and then snap triangle ceilings all the way around. And then remove the square ceiling. Take your fence foundations, place them in each gap of each triangle ceiling. Now it's very important that these are straight. If they're not straight, pick them up and try again. 
you'll see if they're straight by the central connections they won't look flush see how that one is not flush in the center so you know which one's wrong pick it up try again Can you see that one? Yeah, it's not central. So you go and snap more in between each one. These ones snap down a lot easier. They snap straight down. Take your stone pillars and snap them to each to the end of each fence foundation. This cauldron pot is a build upon itself. It's it's pretty cool for decoration on Halloween builds or events. So we have the uh, we have the bare bones of the cauldron. I've put some campfires inside. I skipped ahead a little bit because I was trying to figure something out. Place down a fence. Uh, um, yeah, a foundation, three pillars high, three ceilings along and then change that ceiling to a trapdoor and add a trapdoor, sorry a hatch frame and a trapdoor place a left sloped wall then a giant hatch here which will destroy the connection remove the floor, remove the pillar and you'll be left with just the floating hatch next take your cable vertical cable, place it in the centre of the trapdoor and remove the bottom one. Next take some cages, we're going to need four cages, place them top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. It's a pillar on the left hand side of the cauldron to the cable height and on the right hand side do the same. Next take a horizontal pipe, metal pipe, place it as straight as possible level with the cable. Obviously this is a holding no function, you know, the, the hatch is already floating. Uh, we're just making this look decorative, like it's hanging. Let's try the other side. Maybe I'm catching some lag. Try it with a cable instead. There we go. Pretty cool effect, right? Let's take a trophy mount, place one here. And one on the top uh, gable end. You guys can put this where you want, you know. I want to do this on all four sides.
Take some vessels, add them on each four corners of each pillar, including the entranceway pillars. Take some standing torches. We're going to place them in each vessel. Right guys, I've skipped ahead. I've decided to paint the whole uh, wood black. Everything that's poured has gone black. I've lit this cauldron up. I've lit these torches up. I've added some cooking pots and some benches, uh, some broodmother trophies and some forest titan trophies. You guys can add whatever you like. You know, I always skip ahead and add some decoration. It's personal preference, I guess. I like the wood in black. I think it was dope in black. Literally everything that's wooden on this build I painted black and I've left the stone uh, as it is. So I was going to end the video there, but I wanted to skip ahead to my event that I'm holding on my Halloween event. So I've had a, this is going to be part of an event I'm uh, hosting. It's called Bull, it's called Blasting Bull Bobs. Inside here is where my prizes are going to be kept for um, the event. Added a little rusty decor in here. Feel free to add what you want. You might want to use it as a base or whatever, you know. So the idea of this event is they come onto this dock, which I added, and they take gravity grenades. And they have 10 gravity grenades and they have to knock down the bull bugs. Uh, you know, you get prizes for one, prizes for two, and a, a chatbot prize for all three. Let's go ahead and have a try at this. I'm pretty shit at this, to be honest. Oh yeah, failed already. Did that one go in? No, it didn't go in. Uh -huh. I hope the players do a lot better than I do. Fuck. Let's try again. Yeah, I was going to end the video there, but I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it might be kind of fun. Yeah, I got one in. But I didn't knock the ball bog down in a hole. So what the idea is to do is to knock it in the hole, and then obviously win prizes. Pretty cool, right? And this is the gallows I'll be making on the next video. So keep a lookout for that. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Uh, it's a bit of a long one. We got there in the end. Until next time, I'm out. Laters.